Pastor and to Dr. Angela Amazon Ministries. Today we'll be going over the centipede demon, which is the demon of the month of October that I've selected. Now, the centipede demon, it has antennas to detect or track your movement. And, and their appendages, there are printers which is located in the front. It is used to impede and also they are very venomous their um their pinchers i reiterate they're used to impede or to immobilize you to paralyze your walk to alter your walk or your destiny or your purpose in god now the centipede demon is also a chinese demon pantheon so it's of the pantheon of the chinese and they are nocturnal predators hunters of the night and they are cavernicolous they dwell in caverns they like dark deep places and also dead things and they also will go against their own so this here is that of the characteristics of the centipede demon now a person will be able to discern a centipede demon. But however, throughout the demonic hierarchy, there are so many different low spirit and high spirits that operate the same way. But yet, you have to be real precise what spirit is operating. Because with this spirit, this demon, you can feel though like you're stagnated and you're not moving forth. And this occurs, that means it got a hold to you with its pinchers, which is a venomous you know, like a paralyzing agent, you know, poison that is activated through its pincher when it attaches to you. And sometimes they can lose those pinchers and it could be attached to you and you don't know that it's even there. And I mind you again, when they are wounded or lose a limb, they become all sporadic and they can move left to the right to all over. They become they could come very dangerous but by the blood of Jesus and you could overcome it and also the the spirit is real cunning and shrewd so you have to be real careful and like I said there are very many variances of the spirit because you got those that fly and you also have centipede dragons which acts as principalities now, the centipede demon, once it locks on to its prey or to its assignment, once it's finished, it's gone. Then the next one could be another low creature or high creature could come up against you. Because once they finish and completed their, their assignment, they move on and some, something else will come up. And this one, you got to try to detect it as soon as possible and be specific what you're casting out and what you're rebuking and what you're blocking. Because if you don't, it can still be there and you don't be aware of it. And now it's, it's then teamed up with something else. So, because if it doesn't complete it and it feels like you are a threat and they can't, you know, get you down or immobilize you as the way they want you, they could add other creatures with them to overtake you. But like I said, the blood of Jesus in prayer, ha, huh, Oh, oh no. Okay. Now, as we move on here. Okay. Their hierarchy, the demonic hierarchy. Understand. You have the sympathy dragon. Which acts as a principality. Then you have that of the Sepha, the goddess, which is um, noted back in Greco Roman era. Um, a mummy, she had a mummified body with a donkey head and with horns. And she was worshipped. Now these different variants of the centipede, they was worshipped demonically and their manifestation in the natural realm. So when they died, they was conjured up and used again in a supernatural realm. So there is nothing new under the sun. They're still there. They haven't went nowhere. But we have to know what we're fighting. And that's the main thing. That's the main point in strategy. And also, the um, centipede demon is mentioned in the Abrahamic <laughs> books, 
as well as the um, Islam and you know and also some call call them fallen angels and jinn so a lot of cultures they are aware of the centipede spirit because it does have different names for them but it's still the same demon but in different you know in different cultures and nations they're you know called different things but they still operate the same way so again I would like to thank you thank you for tuning in in this month October for the centipede demon next month we will be um, going over, um, I'll be discussing, it's a Cambian spirit. So take, stay tuned. Thank you again. This is Dr. Angela M. Crone.